Now the House of Representatives at her committee Capital Market Probe uh, got off to a rocky start today when members of the House were informed that the Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Ms. Arumaute, was absent. But after reading the letter sent to the committee by the Commission explaining the reasons for her absence, a visibly angry chairman of the committee, Mr. Ibrahim El Sudi, immediately ordered Ms. Ote to appear before the committee on Wednesday. I write respectfully to inform you that I am unable to attend the public hearings today because I will be attending the National Economic Management Team meeting chaired by the President, His Excellency Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, GCFR. As you will recall, the Securities and Exchange Commission had dutifully and diligently entered appearances at the hearing in spite of the several rescheduling at the instance of the committee since the 17th of April. This has forced me and the Commission to cancel and in several cases reschedule important official commitments. I therefore crave your indulgence to permit me to respond to any additional questions that you may have, have in writing. The contents of the letter to this committee has an aura of arrogance and looks down upon the integrity and authority of the National Assembly. The National Assembly is not under the control of the executive. It is an independent arm of the government duly recognized by the Constitution and acts in accordance with various sections of the Constitution. Mrs. Aruma Ote and all the commissioners of SEC are hereby ordered to appear before this committee by 10 a.m. tomorrow, 9th May 2012, unfailingly. Otherwise, we shall be compelled to invoke the necessary provisions of the law. Thank you. Time following several allegations of regulatory lapses and financial misappropriation leveled against the Nigerian Stock Exchange by the Securities and Exchange Commission, a former Director General of the NSE, Professor Indi Okereke Onyike, finally gets the opportunity to defend the actions of the NSE. In her presentation, the former NSE DG accused of the CBN and the SEC of failing to protect investors when margin loans were indiscriminately being given out by commercial banks. Because people had money, they were bidding for shares at higher price. And so the share prices got bloated and attracted more and more people to the market. At that time, the regulators of government, which is CBN and SEC, did nothing to warn the public. It was the Nigerian Stock Exchange that on several locations took newspaper advertisements. I went on radio, television, to advise and warn innocent shareholders that there is no guideline for margin loans in Nigeria. The Central Bank has not issued guidelines for margin loans to banks. The SEC has not issued guidelines for margin loans to stockbrokers. It is not the business of stock exchange to do, 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 to do that because we are not regu the regulators. We only regulate what our um, uh, stockbrokers, how they trade on the market according to the rules of the stock exchange. But such instruments that are alien to the market must be, the rules must be issued by the government's regulators, which is CBN and SEC. We kept warning people, but when people are enjoying making money, they don't listen. It was only recently, just this uh, past year, that CBN and SEC recently issued the guideline on margin loans. By then, the milk is already spilled. It's too late. So it was really the margin loans that destroyed the market. Nothing more. 
Well, the former NSE DG also accused the Securities and Exchange Commission of illegally collecting money from the NSC and market brokers to fund the regulatory activities. According to her, it's unfair for the SEC to accuse the NSC of uh, mismanaging its finances when the SEC itself was one of the beneficiaries. It is this market and the sweat of my staff and the stockbrokers that kept the SEC going. In fact, I don't know if the government has started funding SEC because I said here that government should now fund SEC 100%. The 0.3% that SEC collects from everybody in the market that sells shares and every company that brings uh, shares to the market uh, to list was a, just an administrative arrangement. There is nowhere in the law of uh, 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 ISA or in Kama where it says SEC should collect money from the people it's regulating. But SEC came to us some years back to appeal to the stock exchange that they want to be collecting. We, the stock exchange collects 0.3% from every buyer. And SEC wanted to, us to help them they, because they didn't have any strong budget. We had that arrangement. We appealed to the stockbrokers and to investors. We called meetings of investors, went to AGMs, talked to them that we must support the government police if we want them to police properly. And so that's how the SEC came about collecting 0.3. And of course, they don't account for that money to anybody. They don't account for it in federation accounts. And I don't see it in the annual reports.